Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today I'm gonna to take you through a full day of what I do since I've been unemployed, so full day of unemployment. Um, I'm shooting a different camera setting right now, so if you guys like that, give this video a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down so that way I know. And then uh, I'm off to do, hold on, let's fix that. I'm off to do some cardio, so I'll see you guys in the gym. By the way, we're having some really nice weather today, which is good because I thought it was gonna rain. Cardio done. You're gonna crush it, kid. Keep an eye on him. Don't let him mess around. Don't let him break shit. Pancakes, avocado, and egg whites. This is gonna be like my post cardio meal. Very light. I want to try. I've been trying intermittent fasting, so I'm gonna try and get all my food in maybe like before six or seven. Cause I have to play soccer, so I may want to eat something after. But and I have a Skype call in 45 minutes. So see you after that. Sunny side up eggs or, or an omelet, mm -hmm. and that's for breakfast. Like four eggs. Just wrapped up the Skype call with Axel. I'm creating a meal plan for. Uh, and an Olympic athlete, which is pretty exciting, and I'm super stoked to. I'm gonna share that with you all because I think that'll bring some huge value to you. Something new I will be taking on. I've worked with meal plans with other people before, so this is gonna be something a little bit more intense, a little more focused, and I'm gonna get this guy ready for Tokyo 2020. So I'm really looking forward to helping Axel is the person's name out. So I just made some really small and quick. Um, it's gonna keep me pretty much full for quite a bit. Uh, I use this PB Crave Cookie Nookie. Oh, dude, this stuff is so good. Macros are solid. Uh, 14 fat, eight carb, and seven protein. Uh, I put it on this low carb bagel. This bagel only has 20 grams of carbs and 20 grams of fiber. It's solid, and I think it has 10 grams of protein. So this is gonna be a nice little snack. I may have an apple uh, with it as well. And then I'm um, going to edit up what I just mentioned just a second ago, podcast, videos, all that stuff. So I'm going to be, oh my. If you guys have never had this before, I highly suggest you get it. Highly. It's so freaking good. I'm finally here at the park and I've been falling back in love with soccer, like towards the end of my prep. I was kind of like falling out of love with it just because like with all the things of prep and YouTube and all that stuff I kind of fell out of love with it and I'm really falling back in love with it not only just playing wise but also following it and it's been freaking awesome like I, I can't wait to play every time now like I miss like it's like it's when you play a sport right and you, like you touch the ball and it just keeps on like just the feel like that feel of like just you're killing it like I, I just I don't know the feeling when you're on the ball you're playing and like if you play football if you play baseball if you play any other sport like it feels like the same way like you're just getting that zone and like two years ago I was really in that zone with my one soccer team down in Naples shout out to the lads hope you guys are kicking kicking butt and having fun on the beach but like that's when I had the most fun and then last season it was fun but I was kind of falling out of love with it because my mind and stuff I was focusing on other things but that's all right glad to be falling back in love with the sport that gave me quite a lot so and I've only been playing for like four or five years so it hasn't been like super super much but I absolutely love it so I can't wait to play I'll get some clips I'll see you guys after Thursday everyone I just did my recovery session down at the gym I would I'll link it right 
here or it'll be in the description box below. It's like a mobility routine I do after I play soccer. So I played soccer last night and let me tell you guys, lit it up. I was playing so well and I'm just so happy to be playing again like I mentioned. Probably in the last clip, which is so excited, so happy, just oh the feel like the feeling is back. Like I don't know, towards the end of the last season, like with prep and everything, it just didn't feel right to me. And I took a break from it, just you know, hey Nick, you just take some time off. And I'm glad I took that time off because now going back, I feel way better. So it's nice to actually be playing again, having fun and really enjoying. I mean, touches on the ball were awesome, scored some goals had some assists and it was, it was just a lot of fun. So I did my recovery session just to keep my legs loose because my legs have been pretty tight recently. So just trying to stay limber, stay loose and you know, much activity as possible, but you know, keeping it within me. And so I'm gonna cook up a little bit of food here in just a second. I've been practicing intermittent fasting a little bit too. So I probably won't eat for like another hour or two. So and it's noon. So I woke up at 11, I woke up pretty late. So did all that and all that. So I'll check it with you guys. I'm rambling. I'll see you in a bit. Wait, I'll explain. But I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I need to eat something. So it's like 1.30. I gotta edit two videos, get a podcast ready, and let's let's get it. We got a lot to do.